This is Austin Tech Takes, a series of short video interviews from the Austin Technology Council. My name is Tom Singer, and today I'm excited to be joined by Sarah Jones Simmer. Sarah is going to be the featured keynote at the Austin Technology Council CEO Summit on October 17th. Hey, Sarah, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you, Tom? I'm doing great, and I love to talk about Austin and the technology scene in Austin. So how how many years have you lived here? Oh, gosh, uh, coming up on seven, so before the Texodus or whatever they're calling it. I feel like that makes me an old-timer now. What brought you to Austin? You know, I think probably quality of life, job opportunities, felt like the right place to raise kids. We were living in Los Angeles at the time, and like so many couples, had our first child out there and then debated Portland, Austin, or Denver, and thought, let's see who gets a job where first. And with all due respect to places like Portland and Denver, this just really felt like the right home for us. We settled in immediately. We've lived in Hyde Park the whole time we've been here. Austin is such an easy place to be a parent. Kids are welcome everywhere, including at stubs and other concert venues and bars. And I just feel like we were able to surround ourselves with the community that we were after and find incredible job opportunities. So your first job was with a startup uh, and then you joined Bumble and now you're the CEO of Found. So let's talk a little bit about your experience in the technology community over the last seven years. Austin's an amazing community for entrepreneurs and for tech startups. The first tech startup I was a part of was founded here. I was the first employee after the founder himself. We were lucky enough to be funded by local investors in the Austin community and really build our ecosystem and our early team here. I feel so privileged that Austin has access to such a great pool of talent, including folks from UT who have come from some of the legacy tech behemoths like the Dells or the NIs in the local ecosystem. And I feel like there's just an energy around the startup ecosystem here that frankly, I haven't seen anywhere else. It's an energy and a collaboration at the same time. And it makes Austin really unique and special in that regard. One of the many things that you did is is you worked on the strategy for Bumble's IPO. What was that like? Oh, gosh. Um, Well, I was lucky enough that I, unfortunately, was diagnosed with stage three cancer about three years into my time at Bumble. And I was lucky enough that I had a boss in Whitney who was willing to help me scope a new role that felt like the right set of challenges for me to tackle during treatment. And it ended up meaning the IPO and focusing on things like helping to draft the S1 and tell the story because I had been a part of the business, not since the beginning, but from pretty early days. So I feel really lucky that I got to play a small role in that. But frankly, as you know well, IPOs are incredible team efforts. There was heavy lifts across the organization. And I feel really lucky that I now get to cheer that team on as a shareholder, as someone who will always bleed yellow as they now chart their course as a public company. So you are now a first-time CEO with Found. What are some of the things that you're experiencing in your in your new role? Gosh, the CEO journey is a really interesting one. I think there's a lot that can prepare you for it. And at the same time, there's a set of experiences that are really unique to being in the CEO seat. I do feel lucky that I've been able to surround myself with a few other CEOs and friends and mentors that have, that have helped me get used to this phase. I feel like you have an opportunity to build an amazing team and create the set of conditions that enable them to do the best work of their career. And that's what I really try to focus on as CEO. I feel grateful that experiences like Bumble have helped to shape who I am as a leader. And now it's my privilege and honor to get to build a company that I feel deeply passionate about and just solving a really worthy problem in the public health space, tackling the issue of weight in this country. And I'm really excited by the outcomes we're driving for our members. Well, we are very excited to have you as the keynote presentation for the CEO Summit in October. So uh, what are some of the things that you'll probably share with that audience? Oh, I'm excited to talk about things like courage and resilience. I'm excited to talk about strategy and communication. I think that communication is sort of an undersold critical piece of the CEO role. You are the communicator in chief to your business. 
How do you think about articulation of that strategy and ensuring adherence across the team, getting that buy-in and then repeating yourself over and over and over again so that you get to that core strategic alignment? These are some of the lessons I feel like I've learned, the softer skills, if you will, of the CEO that I think aren't discussed enough. And I'm excited to chat about it at the summit. Well, Sarah Jones Simmer, we're looking forward to having you there. And thanks for joining me here on Austin and Tech Takes.